good eye. I scored one of these. Skip point, I've taken it out of the assembly. It's uh, they had stripped it apart, the power supply was all gone. The LEDs are really cool. It's also a Kim fitting. And it looks like, um, almost looks like a solar array if you look at these lamps. And I've got my doubts that the LEDs are faulty, so let's turn this thing over. Done a bit of an uh, analyzation on the wiring. Incoming supply. I worked out the purple and the white. There's actually a couple of thermal sensors in here. So there's heat sensors in here, or thermal cutouts, I guess. And there's another one here. So they are controlled. by the purple and the grey wire. So they're obviously safety device, they're going back to a gland that's used to go to the power supply. This was missing of course in this thing. Then we got the other wires coming in here and let's have a look where was I before. Okay, let's say here, we've got black Black here and white. I think that's the DC supply. <coughs> that goes to a blue tail, and that one goes to a red tail. So red in goes to blue. Blue goes back to the red of that cell. Comes out to the blue. Into this one, into that lamp here, and so on. So the zigzag, zigzag, zig goes through the whole lot, the whole series. Interesting, I think, there's all these labels on here, but there's two different uh, segments here. So this uh, number on here, and the other number. So there's obviously left, left and right burning uh, LEDs, or is the mirror uh, optics probably. It's 94. Seems so a better view on this, so upside down, unfortunately. So this is a 2015 fitting by the look of it. So considering it's only five years, probably less than five years old, it's pretty bad. If you had like an HPS, you could replace the bulb for 30 or 40 bucks. Get it going. You could throw the whole unit away. Kim lighting. And there's some labels on here, of course. And there's a couple of other labels on the other side. Uh, turn this thing around. And then we've got a label here. I'll try to get a good look on that. It's rated for multiple voltages from about 120 to 277, 50 and 60 hertz. So it's for both markets. And then we've got another label here. Note here. So I'm just going to get the fire rack out and then uh, rectify and see how she's performing. I've got a port of area out here and I've connected this up quickly with a power lead. This is an uh, block bridge rectifier which I salvaged out of this power supply before I shorted it out. Air meter into the cluster and we'll see what's going to happen. So I'm going to ramp it up slowly. I expect I need to be a bit of voltage on there before anything will conduct. <coughs> 70 volts AC, nothing happens yet. We worked out 20 times 3, not many really a bit of voltage to actually work. There we go. We've got lights. So I've got this thing sitting here at 120. And the current is uh, 125 milliampere. Okay, adjusted the shutter speed to 100, and that seemed to be uh, a bit better. So we're going to running these devices at uh, 300 milliampere at the moment, and I can get it locked. It's quite bright actually, so the auto correction does a little bit on it. Really cool. A little bit of dimming uh, variation on the device. These LEDs are very bright and I'm going to reduce the capacity so we can enjoy chips a bit better. I 
I haven't got the capacitor on the power supply, um, but that's all right. I'm not worried about that. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just do a quick temperature test, test on the heating. Oh, that's cold. Actually, not warm at all. Must be quite effective. Uh, although I'm probably not running it at full power anyway. <clears throat> I live in a wasteful society. You think a new uh, power supply module would be enough, but no, no, we throw the whole thing away. And we're sitting at 300 milliampere. And my old Variac sits at about 130, 135 volts AC. And the rectifier. It's cold as well. So to test it, it's always important when you test things you don't know what you're doing or uh, when you're not sure what the result is. I just use an old uh, TV lead, which is always heap, heaps of those available. TV lead. Output wires into the yellow clips, which go to the AC terminals on the rectifier device. Red is plus, black is minus. By ramping it up slowly, you can work out when the striking voltage of the LEDs is. So this thing got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so 20 segments. It's 3 LEDs, it's 60 LEDs, 2 to 3 volts, 180 volts. That'll be probably full power. So uh, yeah, it's uh, working at the moment. So and that's the usage on the meter. It's not running very fast at all. This is the test setup from the distance. Yeah, the frame rate comes in again. Okay, I did this off with Trevor Day. That's from my Australian friends. Um, I got this connected up. Same current again. 343.50 milliampere. He asked me about one segment uh, uses what a voltage topper cost. That's about 8.2 volts. Um, I just got the probes around one of the segments. So it's 8.2 volts. So there's probably three LED chips in there. I would say three, three, nine. I don't want to drive it harder. You probably can. Um, I just put a capacitor in here, 5.63 micro from uh, 400 volts. And that will... Uh, or we would use the flicker anyway, which you saw in the earlier part of this video, which I made yesterday. So it's now Ripple 3 and I didn't have to uh, fix the shutter on the camera at 200 hertz. So yeah, that's it. I'll just do a ramp up and ramp down. So I'll keep the light on here. Um, 350, 300 milliampere. 300 milliampere, the voltage drops down to 7.96. And we go a bit lower in 7.77 but the output is uh, drastically uh, reduced this is the capacitor there is now ripple and as soon as I disconnect one of the leads of the capacitor the ripple will uh, appear Here we have just a capacitor afterglow from an LED fitting. Watch. De energize. As you can see the camera try to refocus. This is solely running on the capacitor. This was a large capacitor from a street lights, 560 microfarad. And the out glow can take a while. And these are still glowing. A lot of energy stored in that capacitor which is sitting here. Disconnect one of the leads. There we go, now they're off. The lead is disconnected. Back on. And the LEDs are back on again. <laughs> 